Hello, everyone. Oh my god, I just tur I, I just started the episode on that really epic part of the music. It, or, well, it's not really epic, it's just kind of just like, whoa, it blows you away. Okay, let me try that again. Hello, everyone, this is Argon Matrix. Welcome you to episode 30 of Let's Play Kirby's Epic Yarn. Man, we started this back in January, almost a year ago, and now, it's just now episode 30. That's crazy. But we're moving on to the final world of the game. So, let's bring it on, man. Bring it on, bitch! I'm ready for you. Well, actually, I'm not, because, uh, other than this first level here, Future City, I am going into this world completely blind. So, prepare, prepare to turn the fail dial up to 11. What's that one song where they say that, where it's like, turn, crank it up to 11 or something? I don't know. There's probably a lot of songs that say that. Okay, sorry for going quiet there for a second. I just wanted to give you a little dose of the music here. Because the music here is really awesome. It's phenomenal for this final area. It's like, dude, you're on the home stretch, man. And it totally provides that feeling of, like, you're getting there. You're getting so close to the end. Just that nice final music. Kind of like the the theme in the final galaxies in Mario Galaxy 1 and 2. They both provide the same kind of feeling. Even though they're totally not the same kind of songs. Dude, no, crap. Oh. You know what, that's okay, though. I think that was just a patch up there. So, just for future reference for those of you playing along, that there is a patch up there, and I recommend getting it and not missing it like a dumbass. I don't, it is pretty easy to miss, though, because those roller coaster, the physics on that roller coaster are so weird. Like, they're realistic, but it's just weird, man. Realistic physics are always the weirdest physics. Not gonna lie about that. Alright. If I remember, this level is actually really long, so I'm not sure how. I might only get this level in this video. I might get some of the other level and just like end off in the middle of a level. Have I done that in this let's play? I don't know if I have. <laughs> Be an interesting concept. But yeah, there's just like a bunch of sections to this level and I always think it's gonna be like the last section. Like I, I always think that that UFO part, cause there's a part in this level where you turn into a UFO. <laughs> I know, shocking, right? And um... And I always think that that's the last part, but I'm pretty sure it's not. I think there is, like, one more roller coaster section that you have to go through before you actually go into that. And the roller coaster gimmick is pretty fun. Space Monitor! This is the kind of TV we'll watch in the future, right? Yeah, man. Looks like that TV from the Jetsons. Actually, I don't remember what the TV from the Jetsons looks like. Or the Jetsons. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but that the TV monitor on that treasure we just got, that is really thick, so I don't know if it would necessarily be that thick in the future. Dude, I don't need this. What am I doing? <laughs> just carrying that along as a trophy or something. It's like, this wall is mine, and no one's going to touch it. Out of my way. I'm the man. Alright. Oh, I remember this part. This part can be kind of uh, tricky to get down. It's not tricky to, like, understand, because this is just, like, a general concept in video games. It's these scales. But something about these ones is just so weird. It's like they they move down in such a jagged pattern of motion or something. Right here you gotta do... Oh, that. Yes, okay. <laughs> Use the waddle for leverage if you have to, kind of like I did there. And then, there you go. Somehow I remember that last scale that it was just on taking a lot longer. I don't know, I guess it all depends on the luck of your game. <laughs> I like this little box here. You can only spend a few min a few seconds in that. Well, you could spend longer in that, I guess, but there's really no point. Alright, here's the UFO, so it's like... Man. See, like, most levels, you would be nearly done by this point, right? But no, not this one. I, th I think there's still, like, one or two more sections after this. Alright, dude, can I absorb you? Thank you. Alright, let's head down here. I bet it's a storage of beads, and I'm right. Oh, yeah. Man, that takes me up to bronze. Holy crap. See, I haven't even gotten hit by anything this level, and I've, like, collected all the bees that I've seen, and just now I'm getting up to bronze. So they're gonna have to provide me with, like, a lot of beads in the next little bits if they want to get me all the way up to gold. Like, holy crap. How are they even gonna do- Oh, this is fun. I get to kill this octopus- Yes! <laughs> I love that so much. Oh, there we go. We're up to silver. Okay, oh, we're up to gold? What? We went up to silver and to silver and gold in one fell swoop. That's so cool. All right, careful here with the fire. Oh god! Oh, man, that was close. I didn't realize it would go so high. 
It's like, oh, we're just gonna go this high. But no, I'm gonna fool you and go higher. Higher and higher still. Higher, higher everywhere. And not a drop to drink. I know that's not how that goes, but sometimes you just gotta change it. Even if the expression doesn't make sense after you change it, sometimes you just gotta change the expressions, you know? Alright, watch out for these guys. You, you can't actually absorb them. You have to kill them with electricity if you want to do anything at all. And they're not really worth it to kill with electricity unless there's like something else nearby they have to break with electricity. Then it's understandable. Yeah, you know what? I think there actually are like two more sections after this, not just like one. Man. So I was e I was even wrong when I was explaining it there. It was like, oh, there's one more section after the UFO section, but no, there's actually like, two more, I think. Maybe three. I can never remember this level. I've only played it like twice in my life, so... Can you blame me for not remembering it too well? And I think those arrows that those guys shoot, they do count as solid entities that you absorb. Because, like, as you've been seeing, you when you absorb three solid entities was when you get your electric power to do uh, that. And I think that those arrows that they shoot do count as entities. So, be wise to remember that. So if you want infinite supply of entities to absorb... Dude, those guys shoot lasers, I didn't even know that. I always killed them so fast that I didn't get time to see that. And if you want infinite amount of entities to absorb, then just leave those guys alive. It's kind of counterintuitive to leave an enemy alive, but... Dude, I'm just pushing this guy along, that's so funny. Alright, there we go. Oh, enjoy your death! Courtesy of Mr. Argon Matrix and Kirby, working together. High five, Kirby! What would it be like to high-five Kirby? <laughs> That's a strange thought. Alright. Man, we're up to seven minutes. I told I told you this level's so long. I told you not to stop. But she's just... Oh. Alright, how am I gonna do this? Was I supposed to keep that wall D? I, I was, wasn't I? Crap, I just killed him. And that's not good at all. Alright, whoa. Wait, I can, get, I can get one of these, though. Okay, that's good. And if I... I'm scared that... Yeah. See, that, elect that electricity is, does reform after a while, so you gotta be careful. Oh, look, the wall D came back, too. Isn't that great? Oh, your services are no longer needed, though, wall D, so sorry to say. But you can just plainly die. Alright, dude, it disappeared! Oh my god, they both disappeared, that's so sad. Alright, let's try this again. Okay, let's go up here, get a UFO, to get a UFO. And these UFOs UFO actually split into three when you throw them, so that's kind of cool. And that block can go down there and do its thing when we go up here and do our thing and get this treasure. Booyah. Oh, what the hell? It's a space table! This table from the future is rumored to make food automatically. <laughs> rumored? No one's tested it? What the hell? Well, it is from the future, so I guess it technically doesn't exist. So how can you test something that doesn't exist? <gasps> I don't know. Alright, be careful to do this before you go in here. Otherwise, you're just bound to get electrocuted. And you'll see yourself getting electrocuted several moments before you actually get electrocuted and you'll just be like, oh no, why was I such a dumbass? You know, like sometimes I do that in my commentary, I'm like, oh no, why was I such a dumbass? Oh. And we end up regretting everything. This recording session has been so wacky, I don't know. Not wacky in the general sense of the wacky, like wacko from the Animaniacs or something. But no, just wacky in terms of like, I, my commentary has been so mellow and kind of just different from what I've been doing lately. So what I've been doing lately in my commentary is I'm trying to talk more about the game and try to sound more excited about the game instead of just like memories and stuff. And I don't know, I haven't decided whether that's a good idea or not, so I'm kind of just flip-flopping between two different styles of commentary here. Plus I'm tired, so that does add to it. <laughs> Did I just say I'm tired? Dude, that was a reference to Nintendo Capri Center and I didn't even realize it when I, did, when I made it. It's kind of funny. Alright, oh, you gotta be careful here, because you gotta jump up and... Oh, crap, I screwed that up. But you can do it, it's okay, you can get on top of this. You want to get on top of this one now, because I do remember that there is a treasure up here that you have to get, so you have to be on this top one in order to reach it, I think. Pretty sure, anyways. Careful not to get pushed off by these... It, yes, it's up there! Dude, it's up there! No! Okay, uh... Is there any way I could possibly get back and go for that treasure? Man, I want it so much. There's got it. I'm gonna make a jump for it. Let's see. How's this gonna pan out? Um, not well. <laughs> that was stupid. Oh man, 
I really don't want. Wait, what? Where's the tape? Dude, oh my god, I just dropped like a million stars. Oh, oh hey, I can get a second chance. Well, there you go. You actually can get a second chance if you jump headlong to a pit. Who knew? Man, I was afraid that I was going to have to go all the way back through this level and try and get this treasure. Which sucks because it's at the very end of the world, too, so. It's the end of the world as we know it. The end of the world as we know it. It's the end of the world as we know it. And I'm feeling fine. Is that how that song goes? I can never remember that song. I can never remember any song. What the hell am I talking about? The only songs I can remember are like... <laughs> are like people making like lyrics to video game songs. You know, like, Welcome to the Great Stone Tower Temple. Yeah, stuff like that. Mm, what do we got? We got the plug patch. Cool. <laughs> That's why I always name a Pikachu in any, like, Pokemon game I go through. I always name it Plug, just because that's the funny name. <laughs> just the U sound in that word. And the fact that it's so short, it's like, Plug. Plug. I don't know. Oh, hey. <laughs> that was like a matrix of something around that TV there for a second. Alright, Tube Town. I have never been in that level, so... Uh, but you know what? We're out of time. See, that level, that one level, took the whole video. I don't believe it. <laughs> What am I saying? It'll be able, I perfectly believe it. I stated it partway through the video that that would happen. Oh, man, you guys aren't going to have anything to comment about in this video. I haven't been talked about talked about anything interesting. Let me leave you something to comment about. Um. Oh, now with nothing to reference, I can't even think of anything to talk about. Um. Let's see. Dude, there's a Viking helmet here. This is weird. I wonder what the boss of this place is. That's going to be interesting to find out. Dude, what the hell is that in the background? It's the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, but, like, <laughs> futuristic-y. Do you see that? That's cool. Alright, well, since I can't think of anything to talk about, I hope hopefully you guys will find something to comment about. That's always one of my, like, I'm always scared or something, because, like, oh, what if I post this video and no one can find anything to comment about, and it's just going to be so sad, but you guys always manage to pull something out, even if it has nothing to do with the video, which I'm fine with, by the way. Anyway, so next time, we'll go take on Tube Town over there. Which I'm not going to show you because you just saw it. So thanks everyone for watching. This is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you. And good night.